Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a part two update, the final verdict on Flow PMS gummy vitamins. All right, if you guys catch me looking at my notes, it's because I don't want to miss anything. Um, it's been a huge time gap since I recorded that very first video. Um, it's been like six months, so I'm super, super, super duper behind and sorry that I'm just now getting to, around to posting this because uh, for starters, I did not expect that video to do as well as it did. So I'm so, so, so appreciative to everyone that supported, commented, liked, whatever viewed, you know, thank you so much for that. Um, but yeah, um, this again is just my experience. You may have a complete different experience, but looking back, um, I just have a completely different perspective on the gummies, my overall health, a bunch of things, and we're gonna get right into that. So basically what I mean when I say I have a different perspective is, if you haven't watched my um, previous video, I'll link that, but uh, you don't necessarily have to watch. I'm gonna kind of like reiterate the things I said there and tie it back and forth basically. So a lot of things I said in that video, I'm gonna be saying here and repeating it and it kind of confirms to why I made my decision. And my decision is that I don't personally think the gummies are for me. Um, my first month I had uh, no cramps, none, zero but i still had hormonal acne um i even broke out of my forehead which was different <laughs> for me and also i noticed a very slight decrease in bloating nothing to write home about but very slight decrease and so that was my results for my first month right okay moving forward with the second month and again the company recommends you take them for at least two cycles to see your true results you know what i mean um so for month two um again no cramps no cramps at all i noticed like the very 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 slightest decrease in hormonal acne bloating again it stayed about the same as the first month so a slight decrease there as well um and again i can't really speak for mood swings because i'm just naturally moody you know so i can't speak for that i really can't so overall i guess you would say they stay consistent um with the first month now this is the kicker so i stopped taking them completely on month three again this has been six months ago so we're talking about month two i mean month one and month two right so the third month three months ago i stopped taking them completely now it wasn't by choice it was just kind of like caught up with life routine didn't order the third bottle you know so just me being me being forgetful i just naturally forgot about it so as time has gone by and i'm getting responses on that video i'm like wait i stopped taking the gummies you know so it like it, it, it snapped so i was like okay hmm and i started realizing in month three every symptom basically came back my cramps my my hormonal acne which kind of flared between month three and month four that's when i would say my acne was like out of control and it wasn't even on my normal level of acne was just like you know i don't i don't know what's going on with my skin and my body but it just we weren't in sync you know what i mean so um and i'm, I'm telling you all this and I'm, I'm gonna get to the point month four again oh, acne was at its at its worst uh month five my acne completely stopped completely i had acne scars no acne this month um i have like one bulb like here other than that it's like my acne is under control right um bloating depends on what i eat again back to diet and lifestyle yeah so um looking back i kind of started breaking things down and i noticed um now on month three and four i believe my symptoms came back because i, I really wasn't doing better with my diet i wasn't working out um i wasn't i wasn't staying regular drinking more water it, it was a lot i was not doing so it made sense to why i was having the symptoms i was having all i'm saying all this to say again set realistic results you know what i mean set realistic results if you're going to give these gummies a try because you're taking these once a day you know but then throughout the day if you're not drinking water throughout the day those other meals are junk and full of sugar and you know what i mean it's like you have to fuel your body to get the results you want so i had to tell myself that like i would have my good months and i'm like okay okay and then i would slip up and i would have these ridiculous symptoms you know what i mean and again it's just for me i don't feel the gummies are doing their job i mean it's it's my it's my job to do what i'm supposed to do to get the results i want so um again so month 
five and now month six i'm good like i don't have cramps i don't have you know i mean again i still blow but it's not like horrible but again that was all on me so to anyone who is you know looking forward to trying these gummies do not compare your results to other people's results because you don't know if they have an active lifestyle if they have a healthy diet if they're you know what i mean so or even the ones that are saying it's not working if they're and that's why i'm telling you why you know the things i was doing to get results or things i wasn't doing to get results if someone's saying they're not working and they're saying um and they're not working out they're not eating right like how i wasn't eating right you know what i mean so if you're going to try them try it for yourself don't take my word for it don't take no one else's word for it i can only give you my experience because everyone's body is going to respond differently but again at the end of the day it is our jobs to get our bodies right and if you are having symptoms that nothing is helping like lifestyle change diet change um trying gummies or whatever if these things aren't helping i would seek professional help because you never know what is going down i mean going on down there you never know i know people that have had endometriosis and they have horrible um uh pains and cramps and symptoms during that time of the month so you never know what's going on if you are in like extreme pain i would go get that checked out but i just wanted to make this video straight to the point and get back with you guys because again i had the false hope that this gummy was working and again it wasn't it was me not doing what i was supposed to be doing but um if it was if it worked for you that's great i'm happy for you guys um i love to hear feedback so i would love to know if you guys are gonna try it out or if you have tried did it work did it not work like whatever let me know um so yeah i'm gonna wrap this video up and i will see you guys next time don't talk about me <laughs>